Boom shakalaka, smart money is betting short. Why Bitcoin is setting up to make smart money look stupid and break out in seven days. Stay tuned. What's up everyone, Randall here from Crypto Love. Today's video, we have a lot of very interesting charts for Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies, including why Bitcoin is about to make smart money look stupid and what is going to happen to Bitcoin. Before we get into it, guys, make sure to like, subscribe, click the notification bell, come join us on Twitter at the Crypto Love. Push that like button. Today, Bitcoin fear and greed at 49, up from yesterday, but just hovering in the 50s neutral for the past week. The overall market up a quarter of a percent. Bitcoin at 22,401, Ethereum at 1567, BNB at 286, XRP 36 cents, Cardano 33 cents, Polygon dollar 16, and Dogecoin at 7 cents. Bitcoin right now below the yellow 50-day moving average as you can see this wedge from previous peaks and bottoms set to break out by march 14th march 15th date in about a week's time we will have a breakout up or down now me personally i think it could likely head down but there are a lot of interesting charts popping up right now as you may want to be somewhat cautiously optimistic now, if we take a look right now, smart money is betting short on Bitcoin. Smart money has started betting on the downside. This indicator can stay elevated for some time, but eventually smart money gets it right more often than not. You can see back here for a whole entire year, smart money was betting short and it took a whole year of growing before the price eventually came down. But other times when it does get high above this red line, we do see drops in the price. Could we be seeing it happening once again here, well, if we take a look at Bitcoin, there's a lot of indicators that suggest Bitcoin may be going up before it goes down. First thing, correlation with DXY. Bitcoin is inversely correlated with DXY. We see DXY falling through, not able to regain previous levels. Potentially, as this continues to head down, Bitcoin might head upwards. Another illustration of this chart with trend lines added, which can be helpful, Bitcoin on the lower end of a trend line. DXY had the parabolic run up from bottom to top broke down as it continues down bitcoin could continue up we have bitcoin in just logarithmic trend line right here we're down in by territory not anywhere near sell territory but some people are starting to sell however this chart here haven't looked at this in a while right now 70 percent of all bitcoin is in profit and you're like well that's pretty good right well it's not anywhere near a hundred percent and if we take a look when this changes from blue which is around 60 percent to this light blue greenish color Look what has happened after every time that has happened. And I don't think I need to spell it out for you. But basically, that's the beginning of the next bull run for Bitcoin each time. Why would this time be different? I don't know. If we take a look at the extreme, uh, the cycle extreme oscillators confluence summary, which takes a look at the MVRV ratio, ASOPR ratio, Puel multiple reserve risk. Right now, we're just exiting blue territory, which has historically been bottoming territory for Bitcoin. After exiting, exiting blue every time, Bitcoin goes up to this orange territory, orange's top territory. So if history is to be anything like what has been previously, we are exiting bottoming territory, entering topping territory. Right now, the same signal that has preceded every big run for Bitcoin is here when it breaks through this moving average, which we have just broken through. Each time historically, this has marked the beginning of pretty serious bull runs for Bitcoin. Why would this be different? Again, I don't know. The one thing that you do have to take away from this is everybody's like, oh, all these indicators are looking great for Bitcoin. I'm gonna go 100X long. Well, good for you. But if you take a look at this chart, Bitcoin does kind of repeat cycles. This is the halfening cycle Bitcoin spiral. You can see we have halfings, which we have coming up in about a year's time. And then we have all-time highs. And you can see where we are right now. We're not that far past an all-time high. And as a matter of fact, we just basically broke out of bottom territory. So there's a long way to go before we even get to the halfing. And even longer to go before we get to all-time highs. So before you go 100x long, just realize it may be a little bit of time before we get there. And time takes time, my friends. Now, the other thing that is worth noting, Bitcoin bull mode is activated. On the three-week time frame, the logarithmic MACD just crossed bullish. This historically has been insanely bullish for Bitcoin. When it crosses bearish, it is insanely bearish for Bitcoin. But this is a bullish cross for Bitcoin, looking like it could be very, very explosive 
for Bitcoin. If we take a look at another chart, just to give you an idea of the size of these explosions, this started the 2012 bull run, this started the 2015 bull run, the 2019 bull run. Could this start the 2023 bull run? Absolutely. freaking lootly But just keep in the back of your mind, it's going to take some time. So that's all for today's episode. If you did enjoy it, push that like button. I'll catch you guys later. Have a good one. Love you. Peace. If you don't think Bitcoin's going to a million dollars a coin and then $10 million a coin, you're already a loser. <laughs>